good morning um we are on project i think it's 21 yeah 21 of the um artist trading card workshop book by bernie berlin i always put it in the title anyway so you should be able to see it now anyway so this week we are doing fused fibers which hopefully is going to be fun <laughs> Uh, the techniques gives your cards a very unique and intriguing texture by incorporating an iron, assorted decorative fibres, fusible webbing and embossing powder. I just think it's fun to melt things together, don't you? Sometimes the resulting patterns of the fibres will look great for a card as it is, but if you prefer this effect as a background, it's easy to glue or attach elements over it. So I did tell you last week, but you need a fusible webbing. So um, you can use the stuff that you turn your trousers up with, but I've also got this stuff called Misty Fuse. I've got it in black and white. And if you can see, it's a very open, weave, woven, um, adhesive stuff, basically. Uh, right, OK, so uh, put some web on your card. So I've got two cards here. I think I'll make two this week. Um, so lay, lay, lay some... Ugh. Lay some fusible webbing over your blank card. Create a nest of fibres. Make a little nest on top of your card with assorted fibres of your choice and a bit more fusible webbing. She sort of layered it over there like that. Sprinkle over, uh, right, randomly sprinkle assorted embossing powders over the nest. Now I've not done this, I've never tried um, melting embossing powder with an iron so this is going to be interesting uh, gently place a heat resistant craft sheet over the card and its nest and apply heat over the entire surface pressing it with an iron if you have applied heat to the top turn the card over and apply heat to the back of the card with the iron so do top and bottom so give it a flip let it cool off and then gently peel off the craft sheet Trim your fibres um, to the size of the card. And then if you can see here, I mean, uh, yeah, that one. Uh, it's just a small piece there, which, you know, this one, I'm assuming she's used white embossing powder, but there's lots of fibres in there, but it's just like a middle bit. OK, um, if you hear dog barking, I've got Willow this week, so she's on one because they're grooming next door um this was the entire background and then there's something else stitched on top of it with the sewing machine um i mean my sewing machine will stitch through card although this card is really thick uh, i'd be pushing my luck so whether they fused the fibers off of the card stitched it and then fused it to the card i don't know uh, this is um, just a simple background, um, but obviously the fused bit I'm thinking is the heart. And then there's netting in the background here and they've stitched on beads. Um, this is just the jumble of fibres. Um, and then she's um, added in um, seashell beads there, basically. And this is the entire thing. And then it's hand stitched around the edges. Um, yeah, it looks like these are holes through to the card at the back by the looks of it yeah so anyway i think it's just going to be fun to play with isn't it so uh, we'll give it a go so um i've got my pressing pad as you can see i've got my iron heated up it's up to i think i might put it a little bit higher because i said i've never tried doing the um embossing powders anyway we're going to give it a go <laughs> can only go wrong um i'm gonna put this here i'm thinking about putting a tile under this um i don't these aren't particularly good craft mats so we'll give it a go anyway we'll try two at once no we won't we'll do one at a time <laughs> i'll chicken let me just move you slightly forward there right okay so i think i'll do one in dark colors and one in light colors what do you reckon I've got all sorts of, I've got like a tub that I keep in a drawer next to me with all sorts of fibres in it. So we'll put some of those on. And then I've just gone to my voil box and there's a netting and stuff like that. So we'll put some of that on as well. So if needs be, I'll speed you up a bit while I'm faffing around here. Because there will be faffing, because you know that. Um, oh, and embossing powders. Um, as I say, I have got... 
some different colours. Um, they're in these little tubs in here. Uh, I've got red, black, green. So I'm just going to sort of chuck some of those on. Again, I've never done this. So we're learning together. Anyway, I hope you're having a good day. It's beautifully sunny. You can probably see it's coming through right now. It's going to get blooming hot. Went for a nice walk around... Um, the National Trust property this morning with my daughter and Mr. Hades and Miss Willow. So that was very nice. Um, I think this one, I'm going to aim to cover the whole card. Yeah, this is a lovely stuff. It's really, it's not cheap, this one though, unfortunately. But um, yeah, I got introduced to it by, I went to a workshop where we used it. I'd never heard of it before. So um, you can find it. Um, I think Amazon sells it and there are a couple of sellers on eBay as well that sell misty views um, it's particularly good if you don't really want to see the sticky stuff you know it just kind of disappears which is pretty cool so I need one bit and then I need some bits so I'll just chop another piece like that Willow be quiet and then we can start faffing. I know they're grooming. I know you can hear other dogs. Shush. She is like um, a shadow at the moment. She just follows me everywhere. <laughs> so, right. Stay still. Okay. Um, what should we put on? Oh, oh, possibilities are endless, aren't they? Should we put on some hairy string? We try and do something quite i'll tell you what i'm going to swap that because that's very bent and i want it to be flattish should we try and be semi-artistic what do you reckon <laughs> i haven't got to put anything on top of it then hello miss i still don't know what breed she is she's a white fluffy thing if i remember i'll get a photo and you can have a look you're just white and fluffy, aren't you, Wills? Hmm? We had nice cuddles this morning. She's very itchy, though, which I think is due to the heat. So she scratched, 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 scratched last night, didn't you? Hey? Like that. I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm just blocking stuff down. She had quite a nest, didn't she? So let's um let's build it up with a bit more above. A bit of green hairy stuff. This is great fun to just use all those bits that you're not quite you know, if you've got a box of bits somewhere. <laughs> we all got them, don't lie to me. I know you have somewhere. Right, okay, what else we got? Oh, let's get a bit of, um, as we're doing the dark. Hang on, <laughs> coming back. This stuff, oh, where did I get it? Was it Home Bargains? It's out at Halloween. It's such good fun. It comes in all sorts of colours. Um, but it's great for, you know, well, things like this, basically. Anything mixed media is brilliant for that. Just gonna try and chop a bit off. I don't know what it's made of, so it might melt horrendously, but we'll find out. Right, okay. Am I pushing me luck if I put any more on? What do you think? What do you think, Willow? You don't care, do you? You're too busy listening to the dogs on the store. These are from the little fibre packs that I've got in my Etsy shop. Let's just chop a bit of that. Like 
There we are, that's a suitable mess, isn't it? I don't know if it's all going to stick, mind. Right, then it was put more on the top. I might just go with the whole piece, actually. Uh, was it that first or was it embossing powder first? Hold on. Create a Make a little nest on top of your card with assorted fibres of your choice and a bit more fusible webbing. Right, so webbing first and then the embossing powder. I don't know if the embossing powder will sink through there. So what we'll do is we'll cut some strips. I could be doing this all wrong, guys. I don't know. Let's see if I can get that off there. I'm probably being way too fussy. It's probably just best to plonk stuff on, to be honest with you. Right, okay, let's try some. So I've got a super black sparkly one here. Again, she doesn't give quantity, so I don't quite know how much to put on. But we'll put a bit on. I don't know how quick it's going to melt either. Put a little bit of that. Obviously, it's a red one, as you can probably tell. Probably being way too fussy here, but we're doing it anyway. Red and then maybe a bit of green, why not? Let's try to get around the edges. Wow, here goes nothing. <laughs> Are you ready? Let's just shift all you guys out of the way for a minute. I might as well put that on so it'll just get wasted. Right. I was going to say, I don't know how good this Teflon sheet is. It is covered in paint. Is that going to make a difference? I've got no idea. Okay. Shoot you out of the way. Are you in shot? Oh, cracky, that sun's a pain, isn't it? Let me... Um... Drop the blind, bear with me. Seems a shame to block it out, but ah, that's better. Right. Find a clean bit of this, that'll do. Are you in camera shot? So there it is, let me Okay, so camera camera, no, iron is nice and hot. speed this bit up because I think it's going to take a while for that um, embossing powder to react. I really don't know. I've not been here and done this before. <laughs> Yowza, you're warm. A lot of weird smoky stuff coming off. Let's have a quick look. Okay, well the embossing powder is melting. I think I'm just going to have to leave this to cool. I'm going to give it a good squish. I did put quite a lot on. I'll do this one live with you so you can get, kind of get an idea of how long I'm holding it on there for. And then, um, yeah, the embossing powder's melting. Whew, that stinks. <laughs> okay. All right, let me just cut this sheet because I need to flip.
I'm, trying, I'm going to try not to touch it because it's going to be red hot. But right, okay. So she said front and back. And I'll probably have to pause you while it cools down because that is super warm at the moment. So. Just trying to give it its best chance. <laughs> That's all I'm doing. To melt and stick and what have you. Right, I'm going to let that cool and we'll come back for the big unpeel. <laughs> Won't be long. Right, well it's cooler. I'm not saying it's cool, but let's see if we can get this to peel off. <laughs> Hopefully it'll just come off the back easy peasy. It's definitely melted the embossing powder, so that's good. Yeah, I knew that paint was going to come off there. I had um, gesso on the on the mat, so make sure you got a clean mat. <laughs> Nothing else. It's fine. It's adding texture. Ooh, there we are. Okay, well, that's weird and wonderful. So yeah, all the embossing powder has melted. Let's see if we can get you close up. But yeah, it's definitely has pulled the paint off there, but that's that's fine. We can work with that. Okay, well that's different, isn't it? Isn't that fun? Don't use your best scissors for this. These are ratty old craft scissors that I've had for a million years or so. It's fun, but it's very odd. It's definitely melted the embossing powder. You can just see it on the background there. So what I might do is try and find a quote or something that will go in there. Hmm, very odd. Right, okay. You ready? We'll do another one. <laughs> I'm going to do a white, or one with the white. Um... What are you doing, you weirdo? Go and lay down. She chases sunbeams, this dog. She is absolutely bat poop crazy. Right, we've got some embossing powder left on there. You're going to come off. Okay. You see the way I look after my nails? <laughs> Terrible. Right. Okay. Part two. Glad I decided on two. I might have to do another one. Let me get you down a little bit closer and you can see what I'm up to a bit better. Okay, so there's that one. Let's make you nice and close. It's really mushed everything together. Okay. Right, so I'm going to try the white one this time. This one I use quite a lot, the white one. There might be some bits in here which would be perfect. Because as I say, it's not the cheapest, so I'm a bit precious and I save everything. I mean, you can colour your background, obviously, before you start this if you want to, but um, I want this one to be white, so... Or, you know, a white background, so... Um, yeah. Right. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Stop fluffing your tail, madam. You're causing a draught. She won't rest until I go and sit down. And I've got too much to do today, so she's going to be a very tired little pooch later. Right, we'll keep those bits there for adding on top. You probably can't see a lot because it's very, very see-through. So what I found was... I don't know where they've now gone. Oh, there they are. And um, these are like silk flowers, you know, you can get, well, silk flowers. So I'm going to put these two on here somehow, but let's put some stuff on the background first. Willow, stop wafting your tail, babes. It's freezing. 
it's warm today but you get out of the sun and it's kind of chilly so and that doesn't make any sense whatsoever that sentence but you know what i mean i'm pretty sure you do let's put a bit of that there a bit of that there so mess about with your composition So I've got this netting as well. Shall I put a bit of that on? Why not? Right, okay. So what fibres should we have on there? Got some purpley bits. Sorry, I'm rambling away to myself here. This one. Hmm, I know. I mean could i don't see why not you could put a bit of um lace on there or a bit of um vintage fabric i haven't got anything to hand so i'm not going to I could put that on there um yeah maybe not sorry i'm faffing now a bit of recycled sari i think i want it that dark Else I've got is a piece of organza bag here. Have I chopped into this already? No, it seems a shame to do so just for this little thing. Um, 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 um. Okay, well, the other thing I could do, see, I've got this bag of um, leaves and stuff like that as well, which are all just fake flowers basically. Do I want that or do I want a greener one? So you just pull them apart. When you get them, you just pull them apart. Put that on and then chop it. Seems a shame. I might go with one of those. Come on, we're fucking far too much. Right. Okay. I think I'll put the more solid one on there. I'm going to have to put a bit of that in between, I would imagine I am. Okay, and that one. Let's try and get the whole thing on, shall we? Right, you there. Let's lay you there. Stay. You're not going to see that white, but it doesn't matter. Uh, embossing powders. So, I've definitely got a white one. So, it's a bit chunky monkey, but. Oh, crikey, that was a lot. looks like a Heinz 57 it's like a mixture of blue and I would imagine that's white as well it's that clear one there which adds a bit of sparkle let's put a little bit of that on a little bit more of this opaque one I think and you've got a great big chunk up the top there <laughs> oh well this is one that um, got hybrid um, I think I was a bit lazy one day and didn't separate out the colours doesn't matter right okay so that's all those let's lay a little bit more of this misty fuse on top again if you got the stuff that you turn your trousers up with that'd be perfect No idea if I'm doing this right, peeps. I'm just doing it. Right, I think we'll get rid of you because you're a big chunk. 
Right, okay. I shall cover it, do the same again, and I'll come back when it's all ready. And be long. Right, so I've done exactly the same again. I've ironed front and back. Like it's all leaked out there, but that's fine. Oh, it really did leak. <laughs> well, at least it does set it, so that's something. So that was my initial sort of like, mm, is that going to work? But it has worked. Okay. It's a little bit me, but so I'm just going to trim the edges off. with that one but never mind um what i might do is do sorry do some um this camera i swear to goodness it has its own mind right stay there <laughs> um i think it needs like doodling paint in there and a bit of um i don't know whether pit pen will work on it or not let's try it shall we It does work, so it's something. And the important thing is it has stuck, so... Which I guess was the whole thing for this. Bumpy, <laughs> as you can probably tell. I had the iron on maximum, by the way. I forgot, I don't know if I told you that. So apologies if I didn't. Um, it's going to show up by you a little bit. The embossing powder came over there, but I don't saw that. It spilled up over the top. Some of these pens don't want to work on here, but it's a bit of an alien surface for them. Right, okay, what I'm going to do, I'm going to fiddle and faff with these two. Sorry, was that off screen? Oh, camera, you're doing my head in. I'm going to faff with these and I'll come back and show you the finished results. All right, I won't be long. Right, okay, so I just went in with some Posca pens, just tidied them up a bit, and um, yeah, stuck a couple of gems on as you can see, they're just drying, so so that's that one, and then I thought I'd make use of that white line <laughs> and stuck a, stuck a quote on there, Tim Holtzy one I think it is, so yeah, so there we are, that's a bit of fun isn't it, just melting stuff, 
yeah I like them I like them a lot I think I, this I, oh, I don't know I was gonna say I think this one's my favorite I like the way the black the um that black stuff is coming around the side there but yeah oh, good fun right okay let's see what's next week I think next week is just fabric Yeah, hand stitching next week. So we need some patterned fabric, the ATC Wizard, which basically is, you know, that, a viewfinder. Um, pencil, scissor, needles, stuffing, sewing thread, embroidery floss in assorted colours, some muslin, I'll tell you about that in a second, colour photocopy image to transfer. Now, I'm going to talk to you about that in a minute as well. Uh, gel medium sanding block which is optional and assorted embellishments now initially we just make a stuffed atc card basically okay but then they do that photo image transfer which just did not work for me last time at all i don't want to go out and buy photocopy paper because i don't print photos very often now when i had my tidy up <laughs> i found this it's adhesive fabric sheets by X cuts and um, you can put them through your printer. All right. So it's a bit of like canvasy board stuff. So I'm going to give this a go in my printer. I think I'll use the inkjet. I've, I've got a laser as well. Um, only because I got it for nothing. Uh, so, yeah. So basically we'll be making a fabric ATC. If you had luck with the photo transfer, do that again. And then it is literally putting the putting the image on the card on the uh, fabric card basically. Now, weirdly, I'm just looking at these. Are these fabric? That oh, I suppose it might be fabric. Yeah, um, and then you can hand stitch and do stuff to your heart's little content. Really, you know, put sequins on, cross stitch there. Um, yeah, this is just layers of fabric in the background. A bit of beading there um this is two bits of fabric stitching mm, okay and i think that's it and next week it's machine the week after that is machine sewing again if you haven't got one don't panic but this is what we need for next week again if you've got if you had luck with that photo image transfer go for it i did not so i'm not going to <laughs> basically I don't know why we're stuffing it. It's going to have to be a very light stuffing, one would assume. I guess if you've got a piece of um, wadding, you could just use that instead of stuffing it with the polyester stuff. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so grab a piece of fabric. Do an image transfer if you can do it. on. Again, I'm going to print mine. And, um, yeah, it's quite simple, really, when you think about it. Just embellish your hearts out, really. So, yeah, there's some nice embellishing going on here. So, yeah, see you next week. Bye.